Why do you think the work that Threshold does is important and what motivates you to make it happen? It takes us on a journey. It takes us to a place. Um, I love audio that makes me feel like I'm traveling along with the person who's telling me the story that I that it engages all of my senses. And that's one of the reasons I started listening to Threshold. And one of the reasons I wanted to work with the team is because I really love both the intimacy that is in all of the stories and in all of the seasons, um, as well as that kind of expansive sense of place that I hear in all of the stories as well. I guess maybe I would just try to sum it up as I think that our relationships as human beings with everything else in, in, on this planet, um, all the, uh, you know, not just the, the animals, <laughs> like this bison in the field behind me and the, and the plants and everything, but, but all the stuff that makes up our, our world, that those relationships are just so, so, so vitally important, not, not only in the obvious practical ways, like we need food and water, but for for who and what we are on, on these deeper levels, emotionally, um, spiritually, if that's a thing for you, intellectually, um, that there's just no way to separate out our humanness from our earthiness. And, um, and I just, I find those intersections between, between being a person and being an earthling fascinating and deserving of so much more attention and focus and and depth of thought and space um, than than maybe we normally give in our daily lives and I think the reason we're in some of the problems that we're in environmentally is that it's we haven't focused on those relationships and their importance enough and then on the flip side of that I also think it's something we've always known and we can feel really deeply it's just so part of who we are, um, part of the human condition. And so there's both a, a screaming need for more attention to be paid to these relationships and this very deep and old sense of like, of course, of course we should be thinking about this. Like it, um, it's, I think it satisfies something on, on so many levels, on an animal level, all the way up to intellectual brainy stuff. And um, that's, that's why I feel like I can't really envision not wanting to make the show because I just, want to think and feel about those things. Um, what really strikes me about the show, even as I go back and like listen to old episodes that we've done, even though I was, you know, really, even if I was really involved in the crafting of that episode, is that the show, even if it's issues that I've thought a lot about in my, in my own time, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about editing an episode that's, that's coming up that you listeners have not heard yet. Um, the writing in the show and the way the show is put together makes me think about things in ways I just haven't before. Even if it's something I think I'm familiar with and I think I've thought a lot about, like the the, the way the show encourages the listener to think is, is this very surprising, deep, multifaceted way that, that I think is really valuable. I think I'll tack onto that probably and say, there's nothing else that I've heard like it and I have to admit that I'm not, I'm not a huge podcaster, actually. This, is, this was one of the first few that I actually listen to. I, I prefer either visual or silence for the most part. And, and time is hard for me. And I would say to anyone who um, thinks that they're not like a podcast person, you just, you have to listen to this because it's so different. It's not what you think of when you um, think of audio content. Um, it's something very, very different. It does make you think it's emotional and it's scientific and it's interesting and it's compassionate and um, the sound is beautiful so it's very pleasant to the ear and that I think is very different from from a lot of things that are out there there's a lot of, of content out there and this just feels worthy um, of everyone's listen I think for me one of the most powerful things about threshold is the empathy element like you get to hear from people that you would otherwise probably never get a chance to meet or get to know in this really intimate way. And it really helps um, bridge these huge chasms that we have in our culture, in our society right now, where we feel very divided because we don't fully understand the way that people think if they don't agree with us politically. So it's a way of bridging that divide in a way that is somehow really fun and engaging to listen to. So yeah, I don't 
see many other shows who are applying this kind of storytelling craft to the kinds of issues that we are talking about on Threshold.